Welcome to this game is cursed. I am your dungeon master Devin. I'll be playing the goodies and the baddies and here are four friends around the table to play some Dungeons and Dragons. Hey. Um, uh, I'll let you all introduce yourselves. Let's start over here with Phil. I am Phil. I am the bard. I love it. Doing I love great. It. Doing great. <laughs> this is good. You're built for this game. <laughs> <laughs> I have the charisma. So eloquent. <laughs> I am charisma. And I have it. Hi, I'm Nate. I'm a rogue assassin. That's it. Lana. Hi, I'm Lana, and I, I'm a barbarian. <laughs> Line. <laughs> we are off the line. It starts. This is how it's supposed to go. Barbarian yeah. Aladrin. Barbarian elf. Cut that in post. <laughs> oh, I'm a barbarian summer elf. I am Deontay, but everybody calls me Tay. I am the wizard. Whoa. Um, the <clears throat> wizard. Not a wizard. <laughs> Two weeks ago, your dungeon master, Devin, was in a bookstore and stumbled across an old fantasy game. Much like D&D, this was one of the older games from the 80s when the Satanic Panic was at its height. This ancient box of games he pulled out began to review the adventure and it looked really fun. So we called up some friends to come to play around the kitchen table. And that fateful night when you all sat around, you grabbed a pre-made character sheet from the box, along with the dice it came with. Everyone got their dice in front of them. And as the game began to play, and Devin began to read from the book, everyone rolled their dice. At that moment, the world began to shift. You felt your skin begin to crawl. You felt the hairs on the back of your neck stand up. You felt the pit of your stomach drop like you were on a roller coaster. You felt your vision begin to go blurred. And then you felt yourself begin to warp, twist, be pulled inside the game itself. And then there was nothing around the table except your dungeon master, Devin, awestruck, looking at the empty chairs and the book that sat in front of him that had just sucked all of his friends into the game. Quickly, he ran over, he began to look through to see if there was any sign of anything. And in the very back of the book, it said, warning, this game is cursed. Oops. Uh-oh. Phil, your vision comes back to you, but it is dark where you are. As you extend your hands, you feel stone in front of you. What are you doing? find out where I am. Yeah, as you kind of assert, it feels like you might be in a coffin. Oh, oh God. Made oh. of stone. Oh. Is this a Kill Bill situation? I do not like it in here. One inch punch. <laughs> I can't you, get out. You, 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 you going to try to punch it or you want to try to like push it? I'm going to feel around for some kind of latch okay. or handle. Okay. Any kind of um, anything that might help me open it. Yeah. Um, I'm also going to scream. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> um, as you search around, you find nothing, but then you begin now to... Now I scream. <laughs> what do you scream? Go ahead. Um, can I swear? Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> um, <clears throat> Red line. <I'm> like, <clears throat> Nate, mm -hmm. you come through at that same moment when you hear, what the fuck? And you, too, realize that you are in some sort of stone container. Um, you can't see anything inside. It's pitch black, but you can feel the stone, Ooh. and you hear Phil's voice screaming. Okay. Uh, as, as someone who's claustrophobic, this is terrible. I am going to immediately... Shit your uh, pants. I'm going to shit my pants. <laughs> and then after I'm done doing that... Clean myself um, up. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna try. <laughs> nope, not yet. There are more important things to take care of, sir. Uh, and you're one of them. Please help me. Number two. <laughs> um, and I'm going to. Uh, I'm gonna try to push my legs against the top of this thing, and okay. I'm just gonna start just pushing and kicking as hard as I can. Question: yeah. Are are they standing or are they lying down? Uh, they're lying down. I imagine I was lying uh, down. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. 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 Um, go ahead and enroll me an athletics check. Ooh, that is. D and D thing to do, an athletics check. Yeah. Okay, that's not great. I got a six. A six. <laughs> yeah. So for some reason you can't get your legs up. You feel like there's something behind you, and then 
It feels serpentine. Oh. 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 Okay, I'm going to. No. Uh, I. I want to hit whatever that is. It's, okay. I think it's a snake. I'm gonna. Yeah. I'm gonna try to smash it. Okay. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> as you go and attack it, you feel a twinge of pain, uh, as it feels like a limb. Lana. Uh. You hear. Phil's screaming. Um, and then you hear a rustling, but you too find yourself in a pitch black stone box. Is it? So we're all in separate ones? You like, don't know I where can't. Everyone else is. Okay, but I can hear them. You can hear them, yeah. You can hear other people. Um, and I can't. Well, no, I could see because I have dark vision. Dark vision only works if there's at least a little bit of a light source. Dark vision. <laughs> um, first of all, okay. Um, okay, I'm going to try a with my feet. Okay. Push upwards. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and give me an athletics check. God damn it. <laughs> an 11. An 11. So <clears throat> as you push, you get like an inch that is uh, kind of now uh, seen um, as you kind of like push the top of this stone coffin up a little bit and it moves a little to the right. Enough for you to get your hands in and then shove the rest of it off. Hooray. <clears throat> um, and light begins to kind of flood in, almost blinding you because you were in pitch uh, right. black darkness. Tay. Yes. You hear the sliding of stone and then the slamming of that stone onto the ground, connecting with more stone that kind of jars you. Okay. Awake, and you realize that you are in a box made of stone. Mm. Um, <clears throat> you can't see anything. What are you going to try to do? Yeah. Finally, a good night's sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Let's stay in here. Just roll. <clears throat> Take a deep breath. Go back to <laughs> My first thought, I'm very calm. I've been here before. I'm the wizard. Uh, <laughs> uh, I check my surroundings. Okay. Uh, I know I'm in some kind of box. It's obviously big enough to hold me. Uh, I definitely try to push up to see if I can. Yeah. Lift, uh, lift How out. tall are you, Tay? I can't tell. I feel like myself. Yeah, yeah, you feel like you're, you're seven I foot tall. I feel like me. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> oh, yeah. But I'm in, in a box. In real life, how tall are you? Um, You have to guess that. It's not free information. It's not free. That's how it's always worked. I paid a That's lot of money for that. Yes. So, <laughs> he paid. He yeah. paid. Yeah, we, t we talked about it. Yeah. On Fair. your sheet, there's a skill called athletics. Lana, will you, if you point that out? Um, That's the number you're going to add to your dice roll. Okay. So you're going to roll the oh, white D20. That's a, yeah. That's a, six. That's a, is that six or nine? The nine. Law, the line at the bottom. Is it, okay. so oh, oh, six. All right, six. Um, <clears throat> and do you add anything to that? Uh, plus one. Plus one. So seven. So, ah, <clears throat> which is odd because you know you're strong. You know, yes. like you know yourself is strong. So it's weird that you're faced with yeah. something this heavy. Um, <clears throat> Lana, as your eyes adjust to the light, oh. you realize that you are in. Um, what looks like a room made of stone with four statues and four coffins. You having just moved out of one, there's also a spring in the middle with water that runs out through an entrance. Um, you hear screaming <laughs> and you know Phil's voice and you also hear Nate terrified as if there's a, something inside uh, his, uh, his coffin as well. Um, and then you see another one where you, you hear nothing from it. <clears throat> Uh, I go to that one. Okay. <laughs> I hear screaming, freaking out, and I, I go to Taze. Okay. Damn it. Uh, <laughs> checks out, actually. So uh, as I you push off. Yeah, as you push it off easily, um, you see Tay, but he doesn't look exactly like the Tay you had just seen around mm -hmm. the table. Um, his skin also has some of like, this texture of stone. Oh. Um, he has his beard, but it seems to be a little longer. Um, a little more luxurious. <laughs> he has his locks, but he also, um, also he has a cloak, a black cloak. He has a staff in his hand. Um, hey, you're looking up and you see Lana, but she's blonde. And she has this kind of like summer glow, a little bit of a tan. Um, you don't have a glow. <laughs> <laughs> I know you and there is no glow. You don't have a glow, Warm lady. <laughs> How she's dare also, you? <laughs> she's also in a chainmail bikini. Okay. A chain mail skirt. <laughs> Dude, wait, what? You just now realize this as Tay looks down. Fucking bullshit, man. Uh, like, hey, 
Hey. <laughs> also, wait, how tall am I now? Yes. Um, because I'm a barbarian. You're a barbarian. Yeah, you are six foot two. Okay. okay. Yeah. Oh. All right, dope. <laughs> um, how do you react to, to seeing Tay? Uh, what the fuck? I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Um, Tay, as you as you get out, you realize that you are uh, seven feet tall. Okay. Um, which looks familiar, but you have this staff in your hand. Um, you have an accoutrement of items around you, and you too see this giant room with four stone statues, uh, a waterfall in the center, and of course, um, what looked to be uh, you know three other coffins. One that uh, is open from lawn, and the one that you're climbing out of. I think we should um, probably get yeah, probably. Phil, these guys out. Yeah. You hear two coffins kind of open or, or stone hit stone. Um, you hear people faintly talking. What are you doing? I'm going to try and get their attention. Okay. Um, but I'm going to stop yelling. I'm going I'm <laughs> to. My voice hurts. It didn't get me anywhere. Um, I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to call for them. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Go can you uh, can you guys please help me? <laughs> <laughs> Someone uh, get this thing. Oh uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah we, uh, here we I'll come. Go, we're coming. Okay, we're coming. Okay. We're coming. Um, yeah, I shove off Phil's. Okay, as lid. you shove off Phil's, um, you know, uh, seeing your, you, as you kind of push, you also take in for the first time like how muscular your arms are. Yes. Um, and ripped. and how like you do look like you've just come out of like, uh, like the summer tan that you usually get. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and as you push it off, you see Phil, but. He looks like a little older, like maybe a two, three years older, and you're not sure if it's that you're taller or if he's shorter. That like his size seems off, but he's also dressed in. Um, how, how is your character dressed? Um, I have. It's sort of like um, I'll tell you. It's got a. Uh, it's got sandals on, which are, uh, and then I. They're kind of strappy, okay. like Hebrew cruisers. Yeah. Um, and there, um, I've got some semi-tight pants, um, and then a, um, a tunicky, I would say like kind of an 18th century coat. Okay. Oh. Um, and I have, um, a satchel mm -hmm. and in my satchel I have, well, I don't know what's in there yet, but yeah. I've got things in there yeah. and I, I also have a, a, a rapier and a crossbow right next to me. All right. Um, Phil, uh, you look great. Thank you. How you doing? I don't know yet. Okay. Bill, also, you were seeing Lana. Lana is not blonde. Yeah. Lana is not that tall. She's not that muscular. And she was not wearing a chainmail bikini the last time you saw her. Everybody here looks very different. <laughs> Except for me. Um, question. What's in your satchel? And are there any loose pieces of fabric? I have a pan flute. That's not going to help. <laughs> as, he, as he begins to like look into his pouch. I have a, a dice set. A lute, which is awesome. Um, and um, a regular flute. Damn it. Um, and then I've got a short sword, it looks like, in here, and some extra arrows. Um, but that looks like that's it. Well, shit. Um, can, can I hear any of this? Yeah, you hear everyone kind of uh, uh, calmly talking. Uh, the three of you then kind of begin to take in the, ah, 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 the, 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 <laughs> the screaming coming from, which you assume would be Nate since it's the three be of Nate. you are here. Phil. Phil, Phil, put put the pamphlet away, please. Can you please help, help me? I can't get this open. I'm gonna play you a song to calm me down. <laughs> actually, no, can you play us a song while we we lift? You know, I, I I think I do know how to play this thing. Actually, I you, don't know why, but I've got a strong sense that I kind of know how this works. I feel like it would help the group if we had um, some background music. Go ahead and roll a performance check. So there's a skill called performance. There it is. Yes. Ooh, plus six. Okay, wow. that's pretty good. Right, I roll in here, right? Yeah. Yeah. 20 plus 6. Oh my god. Oh, yeah, Rick fuck. Is smart. You guys are Just you rolling the game. <laughs> the dopest with arms wide open. Go on your turn. <laughs> the pan flute that you begin to fucking rock out on. Yeah, that's and, like Nate immediately actually kind of begins to feel a little calmer. Everyone else Feels I'm crying. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. I don't so even know what's happening. I, I am crying. Pan flute in your mouth, and you're ripping that. Yeah, with I'm the lute, I've got the lute here, and the pan flute like a harmonica, <laughs> like Bob Dylan. I don't you even know why I'm crying. You know, like I don't understand why these, these emotions. I don't know why I'm not um, crying anymore. Phil, you evoke the uh, um, you evoke uh, the emotion in your own self because you heard something so beautiful of like um, 
the memories uh, that you have that you've made with your son. Oh. Like, oh. Just <laughs> flooding back. Yeah, like, just like, it's just so emotional and beautiful that, like, all you can do is it's think wa- about, like, how, waterworks. Yeah, how much you love them. Wow. Yeah. yeah, waterworks. Um, uh, Lana, what about you? <laughs> um, obviously, as I'm just being, uh, what's the word? Moved. Mar- not marinated. <laughs> yeah, no, marinated. Serenaded and marinated. Serenaded. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> marinated is good, too. A marinated too. No, no, she's marinated. Yeah, yes, sound, yeah Actually, she's marinated right? in the yeah. sound of As that. I marinate yeah. this performance, yeah. Yeah. Um, I will go over and I will also yeah. open Nate's coffin. As you push over Nate's coffin, you see this alabaster white-skinned um, uh, person but they have a, uh, a, a tattoo sleeve that is identical to Nate's. <gasps> he has two ram horns. His eyes kind of have this yellow and red look to them. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, as he jumps up and you see this tail kind of flailing behind him. Uh, and as I jump out, I face Phil and I'm like, holy sh... What is your outfit? What are you wearing? Also, to everyone else, Phil looks fairly terrified. <laughs> <laughs> not, not Phil, uh, uh, um, uh, Nate looks fairly terrified. Yeah. Uh, and I look at Phil, and then I turn and look, and I see... What did you do with Nate? <laughs> Holy shit! Okay, uh... Lana? Yeah, we're gonna have to do something about this. <laughs> the chafing, unreal. <laughs> and... You guys yeah. look crazy. Yeah, look insane. Yeah. And as I put my hands up, I see like these like clawed gray hands. I'm like, touch your head. Holy shit! I have. Ho- you have horns. I have horns. You have horns. And then my tail whips up next to me, and like I back <laughs> oh. up, and I'm like, the tail that you punch. Yeah. Yeah. It's. Oh my god! I it's bruised. Put that it's definitely throbbing right now. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Wait, where are where are we? We. I fuck if I know. Um, I can I look at this? Their statues. Yeah, around? yeah. Um, as you look at the statues, you realize that one is the statue of this tiefling with his horns. He got beautiful adornments, a mask up. He has daggers in both hands. Shit, you look it's at us. The other one, and you see it is this uh, barbarian, uh, elven woman. Uh, <clears throat> it seems like the artist took a lot of um, uh, artistic license with. Uh, your bust um, in the <laughs> chainmail bikini. Uh, <laughs> With the tiniest chainmail yeah. bikini. Um, like uh, postage stamps. God damn it. <laughs> uh, you see uh, uh, what looks like a statue of Tay as well. Um, with this staff that has, you know, kind of like crackling uh, magic around it that's kind of been etched in. Uh, and then you see Phil's statue, which looks just like Phil, but it seems to be a little bit shorter than the other statues. <laughs> um, and uh, he is just playing a pan flute and a lute. Um, and he, there's no weapons on his statue like the other, uh, um, uh, the other three. I feel like I got the short end of the stick here. No. I think, no. I mean, you look, no, you look great. Good? You look so yeah, you good. Look good. You look great. You guys look badass. <laughs> and I but, look like Do you want to trade out my little brother? Cuz <laughs> your little older brother. My little old my little brother. <laughs> <laughs> I look like a, a little version of myself. But whatever like where did you, I didn't know you played. I didn't know him. I did either. It I sounded mean, amazing. Yeah, it, I was I was like terrified in there. I couldn't get the the top off. I'm also incredibly claustrophobic. I was really fu- but as soon as you started playing I, it was I kind of forgot about we it. We probably all can do stuff like that. You think? Sing. I don't know how to do that. Read songs? Yes. Wow. Well, well, look at you tried something. I feel like you could probably do something you couldn't do. Well, I don't know where these skills came from. That's a good point. Uh, is there any kind of door or exit to this place? There is an, uh, that exit where the fountain that is in the center of the room, it goes into kind of like a little funnel that leads out through uh, uh, into a hallway. Okay. Uh, um, in this room, is there anything else besides the statues and the fountain? It's just the statues, the fountain, and, and these these tombs. Okay. Is there anything written on top of the? Yes. Um, but they're written in uh, uh, in a language that some of you might know, oh. but um, they're so aged and worn that they're read. they're indecipherable now. Hmm. Uh. Like, it's kind of like, I think that's a W, but like, it doesn't look like a W, but for some reason, I can kind of understand right. this language. Right. Okay. Um, and then the fountain in the middle, there's no 
writing or inscription or any kind of like visual? Um, yeah, there, it, you see something um, that's written in Elvish. Okay. Um, you don't know that that it's Elvish, but you know it's not English. And as you walk up, to guys, it says, it's not English. <laughs> <laughs> um, it says the heroes of old. It says the heroes of old. I think they're talking about you. That's <laughs> kind of mean. Jeez. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Feels <Wow>. like it. <laughs> um, What's in your bags? Do you guys have bags? Do you have stuff? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I haven't even checked my stuff. That's crazy. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> I'm just, I'll be honest, I'm just happy to be here. Along for the ride. <laughs> oh, wait. Okay. So I have some weapons here, and then I have like a little coin pouch. I have like these little like vials of oh. something in bags. Um, I don't. Okay. Um, wait, where's where's Dev? Is Dev here? Have you guys? Was oh, he you're right? Where did he go? Wait, what's I... the last? Sorry. Yeah. What's what the is... last thing you remember? What's the last thing you guys remember? We were sitting at the table. Dev's yeah. kitchen table. Yes. Yeah. You guys invited me to play a game of Dungeons and Dragons. Right. And and he got the it was the yes, the old one. Yes. Um. Yeah. The uh the one he got at the, the yeah. bookshop. Yeah. Um. Well, I don't think the Dev's crusty here. looking. We didn't play yet though. That, I, we didn't play any that of that crusty I don't looking play. game. Yeah. That you guys convinced me to play. <laughs> we were gonna we were gonna play. <laughs> yes. Uh. Okay. And then we got our character sheets. It, right? Yeah. And yeah. then picked up the dice and then. That's all I remember. So yeah, I don't. I don't know anything else. Yeah, wait a minute. Weren't you playing a bard and weren't you playing a rogue? Yes. Yes. Guys. Oh. Guys. I'm a. Oh, the statue is kind of. Oh, okay. So, so that's me. this is the most immersive role playing I've ever experienced. The, I don't. Uh, this is the wise thing I've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's pretty uh, good. Yeah, this is a pretty <laughs> interesting first run. Yeah. Um, so. From what what I can tell, is we went to play the game. Yes. And we have been Jumanjied Jum into the Did game. Did Dev drug us? Now, now, what version of Jumanji? That's well. We have to figure for, out if that. Phil, which Jumanji? It was Phil. Phil, was yeah, Phil, that's Phil. a very specific kind of Jumanji. That's true. Yes. We, freaking out. We, we got. We should probably. Since there, is there anything else in here that we can we get the hell yeah, out of here? We should probably here? get some yeah. light or something. Yeah, let's some get. Sunlight. Let's keep moving. Yeah. Um, are you okay? Uh, Quick, TBD. Marinate yourself. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know what? I don't like that. Let me get out of the room. Yeah. Let's go get some get fresh air. Room. Maybe some yeah, fresh I'm air. Yeah. We'll make us feel better. Yeah, for get sure. out of here. Okay. We uh, follow because you said there's a stream. That goes. Dev? Yeah. There's a door. Yeah. There's a. There, you you see that there is uh, the fountain goes into kind of like a little bit of a, a stream that funnels. It's okay. kind of made by stone that leads um, uh, into a hallway. Um, you're kind of like in this. Do we have to swim? Room. No, no, no. It's just kind of like um, uh, think of like a big gutter. Okay. You know. Oh, like, like recessed into the ground. Exactly. And we can yeah. fit. Yeah. Well, that's just on the ground. There's. You know, I the think hallways. we just walk okay. up with yeah. it. The hallway is oh, like 15 feet uh, oh. wide. Yeah. Yeah. We follow that shit out. Okay. Let's go that way. Yeah. Yeah. Um, as you continue walking, you see that there's this large fresca uh, on the wall, and you see that it has the four of you defeating um, some sort of of mage. Um, it looks like uh, a hand had just been cut off, separating the mage from a staff. And you see him crying out in pain as Lana, the barbarian version that you are inhabiting, yeah. uh, has just lobbed off this hand. Sick. And it shows Very. all of you in this big battle against uh, this, this mage. Um, and it says a little uh, um, kind of description on the bottom. It says... Mm -hmm. Alas, the heroes of old bested the Shadow Mage, ending his war on the gods and freeing the realms from his tyranny. A tale as old as time. Classic. Yes. What does the mage look like? Um, the mage... Does it have any distinguishable features? Um, purple robes. Okay. Black hair. Okay. Um, clean shaven, very gaunt. Okay. Um, okay. And uh, <laughs> missing a hand. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, Definitely. Um... Uh, and uh, purple eyes. Okay. 
Okay. Well, if we're going by the painting, then then we're chilling, right? Yeah. Not too bad. No, we're pretty good. Chilling is a weird word for well, lopping it, off someone's fucking hand. I'd rather sure, be yeah. doing the lopping than, than being receiving. the lopping. Yeah. Is the is the painting um, is the location the same, or is this location elsewhere where yeah, we're where we're, we're, we're t- this battle takes place? Um, it looks. Actually, there's even uh, uh, you know a little like where this where this fresca took place okay. description. Oh wow! Um, that says the lair of the shadow mage. Oh, mm-hmm. guys, it's in the la- it's in the, the lair of the shadow. Mage. I know. Yeah. I, I I knew that. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. I feel like we've been there before. Obviously, cause, you know what I'm saying? like I was there the other day. What else is not in the my room first that time? <laughs> so there's there's a giant fresca. Yeah. Yeah, fresca. Um, and and then it's just a hallway, and you see at the end of it is a little bit of light. Okay. Well, I guess we keep. Keep going. Yeah, I wish I could take a picture of this fresca so we could remember it because I feel like it's important. But I'm just going to use my memory because I don't have a phone. But I yep. have a flute. Quick, do a t- drawing of it. Does anybody have a drawing? Yeah. Does anyone? Can anyone? I don't have any. None of us paints. are experienced artists, so. Um, Tay, as no. you as you go through your bag, kind of looking, you realize that you do have um, uh, ten pages of of blank paper oh. and some ink. Um, uh, and then you also realize that you have um, two books in your bag. Check, check me out. <laughs> I, I'm astute. <laughs> um, as you open up one of them, it seems to be um, a book, and it's written in English. Mm. Um, I know English. <laughs> I know um, this one. Yeah. <laughs> but it also has like a bunch of odd things in it. It's it, It's... Almost like a history book, um, as you're kind of flipping through. And the other one, as you open it up, has odd sigils. It's written in different languages. You can kind of understand it. Um, but as you're kind of look, looking through, um, you're like, wait, what is chill touch, scorching ray, as you're flipping through these. Um, and you've seen enough movies to know that this is a spell book. Yes. Oh, man. Yes. Guys. Uh, I just found that I have two uh, books that are in languages. One is in English and one is in a language I don't know, but they say cool stuff. Um, hey, it, and you were saying too, this is your first time playing D&D. Mm-hmm. Again, the well, whitest shit. thing I've ever done. You're about to play it the most immersive role play. Wait, quick, do a spell, do a spell. Yeah, do a spell. I, I knew I signed up for some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you have any, what are your cantrips? Uh, now, uh, as uh, as Lana's asking you that, um, and you know, being brand new to D&D, you don't really know what a cantrip is, but you realize there's something else in your bag. Oh, Ooh. as you pull it out, I do have a big bag. <laughs> got I'm in my bag right now. <laughs> um, it is a character sheet. Oh, the same one you were playing with oh. before you got sucked in, and then everyone else realizes that when they look in their bags, they too have a character. Where am I supposed to be storing this character sheet? You have Chain a little bag mail. too. Yeah. Hold on. Hey, hold on. When you, when you actually look inside of your chainmail uh, bra, you realize that you have a character sheet. Guys. It's rolled up. <laughs> um, and so you all have these, these character sheets that you're looking at. Um, and you also realize that uh, where it says, um, you know, how you look on your character sheet is how you look now. Right. Um, you can see all of the stats that you had when you were given this character sheet. So, Tay, you should try a cantrip because those won't waste any of your spell slots. I mean, if you guys oh. want me to do something cool like that, I can. I, I can try. You probably should. Okay. Um, how does one do this, yeah. per se? <laughs> Wait, which one? Let me see. The zero ones are the ones to your left. Oh, oh okay. So those are your cantrips. Cool. And you can cast those oh. as many times as you want. All right. Well, you, you called for chill touch. So I feel oh. like I have chill touch in this bag. Oh. Uh, I'm going to do chill touch. So I have to. And you want to show her? Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. So go ahead, go, uh, uh, go ahead and roll. Um, yeah, I'm chill touching you. Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> you asked for it. <laughs> you asked for it. <laughs> yeah. Um, so go ahead and roll your d20. Okay. And you have a uh, proficiency bonus on your sheet. Okay. And you also have an intelligence bonus. Your proficiency is right here. Okay. And then your intelligence. Oh, oh. shit. <laughs> Fuck. I'm smart. 
<laughs> <laughs> He's astute. He said it already. It's true. I got he has two books. I came guys. with books. Right? Yes. I came with I went to a library. The guys. Ball is <laughs> so you'll add six to whatever you roll. It's All right. Ha <laughs> That's right. So uh it was a three. Alright, so uh plus six, nine. Um this skeletal hand begins to form out of nothing, and you realize as you move your hand, the one that you've created begins to kind Whoa, of uh, demonstrate shit. and it's and it's wisp, it has these wisps of black smoke coming off of it and the fingers begin to get closer and closer to Lana and as it gets you begin to feel cold you begin to feel the kind of like this necrotic energy and then it <laughs> vanishes just smack that away <laughs> that was um, fucking amazing well, you just made magic i am magic now <laughs> that is insane i'm magic <laughs> guys sign me up for this every time i am magic now that Plays was once. Uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah. I'm magic now. That's it. Phil, wait. Look at uh, what does your sheet say? What do you have? What can we do? I've got a can lot. We... Well, yeah. I mean, I can do. I some of these may be more useful than others <laughs> at this in our current predicament. Okay. <laughs> but I've got for my can trips. I've got mage hand and vicious mockery. Oh, oh. vicious mockery. Oh. I'm gonna hang uh, on to that one. Are you a, you a snapper? You like, oh get him get him <laughs> oh oh, oh read it oh. You're his a roaster. What? Oh, he's a roaster. He's yeah. oh. He wants to in a room let people have it. It's, I like yeah, that. It's for, it's for, it'll just burn burn people down the road. Okay. And uh, I've got <laughs> sleep, dissonant whispers, silent That's image, a good one. hideous laughter, <laughs> um, suggestion, and hold person. That's okay. a good one. Here, let's, um, people maybe, help. maybe, uh, Vicious Mockery or Mage Hand, but maybe not Vicious Mockery because that one that can actually hurt us. Like, yeah. Chill, touching all over the place. I'm yeah. very, let's, despite what the confidence I portray, I'm actually very insecure. Please don't <laughs> mock me. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's. You don't want to roll a 26 on that one. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you try uh, try using Mage Hand? Okay. Gonna, like, uh, so I pull out, I reach in my bag and uh, pull out a coin. Yeah. And flick it down the hallway. Okay. Um, Phil, <clears throat> thinking that you want to use Mage Hand, you feel this kind of burning sensation of magic. Almost that intention is part of it. And as the coin flips to the air, you create a, uh, not a ghostly skeletal hand, this one more kind of looks like your own hand. Um, and it has this blue uh, kind of glow of color and it snatches the coin out of the air and it's holding it. And you realize you can think what you want that hand to do or you can move your own hand to generate um, motion. Oh. Whoa. I'll take it and I just ping, flick the coin right back. You can high five it. Uh, yeah. That's pretty cool. That was that was actually pretty cool. This How'd that feel? Useful. That was amazing. I, uh, I, I'd i like to, do, yeah. yeah I, I like this. I'm going to chase <laughs> this feeling. Yeah. That's a, that's a good, yeah. That was a good vibe. That was there. Yeah, that was. Um, what, are you, what are the rest of you doing? Well, what's at the the end. Do you at the, oh, as you uh, as you continue forward, yeah. as you get to the end, um, you realize it looks to be like a stone door that has just a small seam in the middle with a little bit of light coming through it. Let's open this. Is thing. it like a, one of these type things? Uh, oh, like a, a, like a French part? a French door? Uh, a yeah. slider? <laughs> yeah, French slider. No, no, this <laughs> was a, this was a um, a dwarven pusher. Uh, oh, oh, one of yeah. these guys. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Real quick, before we push through here, somebody put us in in coffins maybe they don't they're expecting us not to come out of them well, well or 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 i've played the legend of zelda maybe we are like the chosen ones oh maybe i mean we were we're being away we, we we're painting right. on a wall defeating yeah we're painting a wall let's take a, let's take the higher road we're special we're supposed to be here yeah we've been think, we've been summoned for a I reason think we're literally meant to do whatever this fresca is depicting. we are on the hero's path yes yeah, okay. it's ace that program. Push the yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, your arms are fucking huge. <laughs> yeah, you wanna, why I have you... no strength. Yeah, why don't you... I can't open that. No. Uh, okay, I will. I will attempt yeah. to push open these doors. Okay, roll an athletics check. Uh, thirteen. Thirteen. So as you, boom, one hand, <clears throat> the other hand, and you begin to strain yourself. Um, everyone else kind of takes a moment to be like, holy shit. 
Lana is fucking ripped. Like, cause the thing is, we see your abs begin to flex, and we see the like when you flex the abs, other abs kind of begin to find the like legs. But has kind of abs. Strain. Yeah, like, <laughs> and, like if you push forward. Uh, yes. It is. Uh, uh, it is fucking awesome. Uh, and you kind of shove both of those stoners. Uh, uh, and I'm open. newly tanned. I'm glistening. Yeah. I've been. I have that summer glow. summer glow. You do have a glisten. Yeah. Yeah. Um, as you push the doors open. Sunlight begins to hit everyone, and you hear uh, in your bags. Well, what? What's that? In our bags? Right. I'm gonna th throw my hand in my bag. Yeah, as you throw your hand in your bag, um, you find your character sheet and you see a little icon that you've gone from. Uh, oh, I lost it. There it is. <laughs> you've gone from. 2,500 experience to 2,600 experience. Oh. Hey. Um. Um. This is a question for Dev. Okay. Or, well, I'll, I guess I'll ask. Yeah. But do you think Dev was planning to run this game? Did with... he do this to us? Is that what you're saying? I mean, I don't know if he meant to. I don't. But also... If he's going, if, if he was going to run this game based on experience points for us leveling, then we're fucked. Hmm. That would be bad. I'm also, cool. No, you, no, you probably don't know what that means either. <laughs> well, oh. it doesn't sound good. Basically, the way Dev likes to run his games is the only way we increase, our characters would increase in levels. We have to accumulate enough experience points. Wait, wait, wait. So are we playing like a real RPG? I think we might be. I think uh, we're play literally playing our characters, literally playing this game. Oh. I guess we have to go grind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, smash cut to uh, the kitchen table. Um, just Devin sitting there by himself. Guys! <laughs> Guys! <laughs> oh, Wait, can you get... On. Hold on. <laughs> Hey, yeah. Oh, you're trying to get a hold of Phil? Um, oh, he Jack, he needs to pick up Jack? Yeah, yeah, one second. Fuck. <laughs> and then we smash cut back to all of you. <laughs> well, shit. Uh, what do we see? And you also did not, you, you did yeah, not get that at all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What, okay, so now that we're outside, are yep. we outside? Yeah, you're outside. You realize that you are uh, uh, near the side of a mountain. Um, there's a path that leads down into uh, a forest. And then you see kind of farther off in the distance, a little bit of a smokestack. Well, I feel like in most cases, we should go towards that. I mean, that seems to me. Right? Sense, yeah. Someone's well, there. No, yeah, nothing or, good's gonna happen if we stay here. Or, oh. or we could go up the mountain. You want to go? You want to go up the mountain? Oh, we, don't, we don't have to, but we could. <laughs> I mean, if you want I've to level just been up faster, teleported into a game, and I really want to hike mountains. Well, What's you know, up? You play RPGs, up the you know, kind of want to level up faster. You go to harder route. What's it know? look like up there? Yeah, what's so, the What's um, the condition yeah, of the climb? Yeah, what kind of mountain are we talking here? Is there a um, path going up, or does it start from where we are? So there's no path going up. That seems like a path was created just for this tomb, um, mm. that kind of winds uh, down. Um, <clears throat> it looks fairly sheer and precarious. Um, uh, is the smokestack on the way to the mountain? Uh, you were on. You were on the mountain. Oh. Yeah. Oh. 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 Got Two it. Percent. Um. But in the distance, past this kind of lush forest, I um, see. You see a bit of smoke rising into the air. Gotcha. Gotcha. To gotcha. maybe signify a settlement. Uh. So we're already on the mountain. Yeah. Ah. Oh, then we should probably go down the path. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. I think we're going to have to traverse this forest. I'm going to follow the barbarian because you have the muscle right now. And I don't know where I am. So you look great. Thank Summer you. glow us down the mountain, please. <laughs> Can I take, uh, actually, hey, Nate, mm -hmm. are you using that shoulder cloak? I, I didn't know. It's just that chainmail thongs, they're really uncomfortable. I don't know. Well, I don't know if, like, the cloak will make it. Yeah, fine, whatever. Okay, and I hurt. take my knife and I cut off his cloak. Whoa, wait! <laughs> what the fuck is that? It, it, it snaps. There's a there's like a buckle. Oh, oops. Thanks. Jeez. And I tie it around my waist and I take this fucking chainmail thong off. Okay. 
uh, I, I would like to demonstrate that I never said it was a thong, was but a I love that we <laughs> have, 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 that it was a chainmail. How thong. else would you see my butt? I was abs. like, it was a chainmail skirt, but um, it was a chainmail skirt. Yeah, yeah, but I love. Oh well. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, there was there was a, a type of chainmail thong in there. We'll 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 make that. I'm not wearing that yeah, shit. Yeah. So what now gonna, I have. What are you gonna do with it? <laughs> I just throw it throw back. it down the mountain. <laughs> throw it back in. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, so no, I go back in and I put it on top of Nate's statue. That is okay. that's that's nice. That's sweet. Um, uh, <laughs> on the horn. <laughs> <laughs> um, as uh, the four of you kind of begin to descend the mountain, um, the sun that you feel on your skin uh, warms you, uh, and you you feel refreshed. You feel kind of at the height of rest, at the height of of um, uh, restoration, almost. Um, like you've just gotten back from vacation. Um, but the uh, the anxiety of where you are and the reality that you're in is lingering in the back of your mind. Um, <clears throat> as you begin to kind of finish walking through this path, you open up into the canopy of trees and the forest does not look as kind the closer you get. No, oh, one of those forests. Um, is this like a- It would be. Is this like a Norwegian snowy Scandinavian forest? Is it jungly? Is it yeah? Like a, more like a German fairy tale forest uh, with gnarled branches. It's, it's like oh, there's mist. Like, it's probably uh, mist. Woody. Like a black forest. Yeah. Hmm. Um, it, are there? Is it a, is it one of those forests where you go into it? It's just really quiet, or is it loud with animals? And mm. um, is it is it a noisy forest or like a it's jungle, not, or is it a quiet not forest? It's very noisy uh, as you enter. Even more. It's worse. Is this forest is, very dense? Um, yes, it's it's very it's giving it's giving big Beauty and the Beast forest vibes. So not a lot of visibility yeah. outside of the road that we're on. Exactly, and the road very that you're sus. the yes. road that you're on is one of those um, uh, traveled paths. Mm. So it's kind of like the ones that kind of dip down um, over time. It's been used so much that it's almost like a half tunnel. Okay. At least there is a road for yeah, us to I mean, follow. That's yes. Yeah. I'm sure. And then you hear screaming. Sick. <clears throat> is it? Five small green creatures jump out <gasps> from the forest line. Oh. One is bleeding from the face. They all have weapons on them and they're running right at you. What the f Oh shit. They're animals, mm -hmm. they're creatures. They look to be humanoid, oh. but they are about three feet tall, green skin, black or red eyes with long ears. Um, goblins? I won. I have some animal handling. <laughs> well, they're not. They're not uh, animals. They're not animals, uh, and I can't Bill, handle them. Bill, <laughs> Bill yeah, yeah, says yeah. this looking at his character sheet as they can, the, <laughs> within. I got some animal guys, handling here. Yeah, guys, I got animal guys, handling. Yeah. Yeah. guys. Um, the goblins run right towards you, Phil, and Lana? Then they continue running. <laughs> Do something about <laughs> this. <laughs> they continue running past you. Oh. oh um, I bid you adieu. <laughs> Uh, and Please, then you hear crashing from the oh, forest. They're running away. From something. Oh, mm. shit. Lana. A 15 foot bear like creature with an owl's face. Ah, oh, shit. Fire. Lana, Nate, you've seen one of these creatures before yep. at a DD &D game, but you've never seen one in real life. Yeah. It's brown fur, because it turns into feathers. Yikes. It's giant claws, beaked mouth. You hear this. <laughs> As oh it God. begins Ooh. to crawl, guys, it's an owl bear, which, if it isn't clear by the name, is a yeah, bear mixed with an owl. owl. Yeah. Um, as it jumps up, it flies over your group and lands on two of the goblins. You oh. see an egg roll to the side for, uh, that was in one of the goblins' oh. um, uh, containers. You can't do that. <clears throat> um, you see the owl bear, then grab the egg and consume it. Oh. Mm. Wait. Fuck that. Was nope. It? No, no, no. Wait, was the egg the goblin egg? What the you shit? I have no idea whose egg this thing, does it know? Has it noticed us? Yeah. Um, the three goblins that are still standing begin to back up to where you all are. Oh, fuck. And the owlbear kind of turns his head. <laughs> and it begins mm. running towards you. Everyone, roll for initiative. Ah! <laughs> no. So you'll add that. Okay. This is basically our order. All right. 
Uh, 16. You guys need to roll again. Oh, ah. seven. Five. All right, Phil, All right. what did so you six. get? Uh, 15. So Nate, Tay, what did you get? 15. Damn it. Fill me. I go Eight. last. Which is perfect for this. Uh, I gotta handle scenario. this animal. I <laughs> know. Oh, you gotta step up to the plate here. You've got all the. I go abs. last. I don't know what yeah. to tell you. Wait till us all um, to get slaughtered. Wait, this is actually perfect. So, like, in this moment, how are we deciding our initiative? Um, you you don't even see the roll happen. We just feel it. We you just feel, feel it. it. Yeah. Okay. And so I love the idea because Phil, you're probably like Lana, and I'm like, I don't know how to explain it, but I think I just need to go last. And here's the thing. Uh, with this, with you shaking all hands, leave, I'm like, looking at my, my sheet as this thing's I charging. You have to there, go there, first. There, 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 there is an yeah. actual yeah. meta of you not be able to move or, or do anything um, as it seems that the owlbear is going uh, first. And you want to run, but you can't. Your feet are stuck there. And the owlbear goes up and it takes its claws and drives it right down into the skull of one of the goblins. As the claws crush inside of it, it rips off the top part of its head. Holy God. shit. Damn. It's Yuck. probably fine. What the? What? It's what? Fine. <laughs> um, Nate, you now feel agency to move about uh, right. the, the uh, what are you doing? Yeah, I'm, so I think Phil is closest to me right now. Oh wait, now. one sec. Yep. Where are we, I guess? How far is the owlbear from us? Every, you are all in combat with the owlbear. So right we're all now. in a group. Yeah. And how far is the owlbear? Uh, like, are we in so. melee? Melee. Okay. Uh, how much How much space do we have around us in this on this path? Um, you have unlimited space behind you. Okay. Um, but the owlbear is big enough that you, there's no way you can get uh, uh, past it. You'd have to run away from it. Okay. And keep in mind, when you run away from something, there's this thing called. Wait, wait, wait he'll find out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta, gotta let the boy fuck around so we can find out. The best way to learn I love is how that experience. almost yeah, came yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's called. Uh, uh, now, Nate, you also you also hear this. Tick, 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 tick. Oh, okay. Almost, like, okay. almost like you're about to like lose inception. whatever agency you've had. Yeah, got you. Shit. Um, so I'm. I'm going to step in front of Phil. Okay. And I'm gonna pull out uh, as I like reach down. There's a like a knife on my side. Yeah. I unsheath that. Yeah. And as you do, all of a sudden your eyes begin to get this overlay of the owlbear of like where veins should be, where are Ooh, delicate muscles. That's cool. Almost like you know how to how to hurt this thing, um, uh, to make it suffer. Um, almost, oh. like, and you feel almost this urge of like I know how to make things suffer. I don't want to do that. You don't want to make the owlbear suffer? No, it's a fucking animal. Try like, to animal. intimidate uh, it. Sir, intimidate. sir, we are in the midst I'm, of a forest with yeah. trees. If you don't hurt this owlbear, we can figure out if this it is a nice egg. It just ripped that dude's yeah. head off. Yeah. And ate an egg. That looked painful. It, that we don't even know where the egg came from. And you're having a pita conversation <laughs> right now? Like, it's not the place. Tick, 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 I, And tick, so tick. I step in front of Phil, and I just stab, I just like, trying to protect him, just stab at this thing. Like, I have okay. no idea. Uh, please roll with advantage, since this creature is in melee. Okay. Rolling with advantage means you're gonna roll two dice, and you're gonna take the highest. Okay. Ooh. Uh, so that is a, a dirty 20. Oh, yeah. Um, so we see added. Nate, like, not wanting to stab this creature. Uh, almost kind of like closes their eyes and lunges out, but it's almost as if with muscle memory, the blade finds the perfect place to uh, to, to cut this creature. Um, right where its uh, its wing and arm kind of connect to the base, there's a little bit of exposed flesh, almost wing-like. As you cut into it, you feel tendons snap Ooh. and break, as then you feel a rush of blood come out from where you've uh, attacked it. Hot. Um, uh, sick. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah, take that! Covered in blood. Yeah, just like, yeah, like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I pulled down my mask. Drink a the blood bit, of like, our enemies. <laughs> Tay's getting in. Yeah, 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 yeah. I pulled down like this. Uh, this mask is on my face, and just like, just get a big breath of air. This is fucking disgusting. Um, we won't worry about damage right now. You guys are, are operating your highest ability. Okay. Um, is there anything else you want to do on your turn? Um, I turn around to Phil, and I'm like, fucking run. Run? I don't know, run! <laughs> um, and Phil, you, like, as you're hearing that, yeah. like, it's so frustrating because you cannot move your legs. Yeah. I can weep. <laughs> I can't run. I can um, run from my eyes. Yeah. Uh, 
<laughs> Iron running is good. <laughs> hey, I believe you were up next. I am. Um, all of a sudden, you see uh, um, uh, Nate no, unable to move their legs now, um, and you feel this agency kind of brought to you, and you hear in the 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 world, the universe, you hear this tick, 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 almost like you are timed to make a decision. Yeah, it's weird. Um, man, uh, you, did you hear that too? As I'm like sitting there, I'm like so. I have a feel. Am I wait? Can I speak? Everyone can talk while you're frozen. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so Tay, another fun thing about this game is you only get six seconds per turn. Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> In the words good. of Owen Wilson. Take, take, good to take. know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow. 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 wow! wow! Good to know. Okay. Wow. Um, feeling that I'm not that. I don't. I don't look. Yeah, very, you're like flipping through your spell. Book. Yeah. Like I don't. <laughs> I, yeah. I'm like, oh my god. Um. Can, is our movements free? Uh, yeah, you can move a, a certain amount. Yeah. So your movement is right. Where is it? You were really close, right next to the shield. <laughs> Where is your? Oh no. 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 <laughs> Where the fuck is? Thirty feet. Thirty feet. Oh, walking speed. Yeah. So every turn in combat, that's the max you can move. Okay. Yeah. Uh, since we're at melee distance, I feel like I need to move a yeah. bit. Yeah. Uh, so I should get. Uh, how are we all positioned? I know Nate's you're, in front you're, of field now. Kind of like in a little uh, grouping around the creature, except uh, Nate has put himself. Right, right, right. Oh, so we're all like in a circle. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, like you're about to do a hacky sack or a dance. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I got it. Uh, little dance 360. Yeah. Got it. Yeah, yeah. Old school reference. Um, <laughs> let's. Uh, I'm gonna take a few steps back. I'm gonna get about 10 feet away from okay. this owl bear. So as you leave, uh, Lana goes to call out. Um, what do you go to call out before it happens? Wait, don't! <laughs> and the owlbear all of a sudden is able to take an action. Um, and you hear Lana just say at the very end, right as it's about to attack it, you say, No! <laughs> um, the owlbear rolls 17. Ooh. And uh, it gets a bonus, but even with that bonus, I believe that'll hit your armor class, which is 11. 11, yes. Squishy. Um, <clears throat> um, because of that. Um, so, Tay, fun fun uh, other little rule about this game. Wait, wait, say it after. Okay. Um, he really wants to milk this. All right. Tay, you've just taken 11 points of damage. <laughs> nice. <clears throat> um, as you turn around, you feel the owl bear's claws <laughs> dig into your back, rip open your, uh, your cloak. You feel your skin get shredded. Yeah, it hurts. Um, uh, ah, as you, you can't see it from my face, but it hurts. <laughs> really bad. I'm, I'm putting on a face for the camera. Yeah. Yeah. I, I am hurting right actually, now. Actually, um, roll me a wisdom save to uh, to put oh. on a, a strong face. <laughs> um, so that'll be uh, uh, the d20. And uh, what's your wisdom uh, save? Wouldn't that be more of a constitution? Uh, constitution is just not to take damage, but wisdom is like the will. But it's like mental plus, constitution. Plus two on wisdom. Plus two, yeah. Yeah. So. No, you're. Oh. You're. No, we, oh, zero. Never mind. That's the wrong one. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. I tried to get no, you constitution. You're my helper. I Thank tried. You. Yeah, I tried. <laughs> Thank you. So zero. So no save. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What did you roll on the die? Uh, a six. Six. Okay. No, it's nine. Um, it's a nine. Is it nine? Yeah. So the line. Oh, I, the I know. I keep, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. So um, we don't hear you scream out in pain. But since you've turned away from everyone, there's definitely like the tears of oh, of course, good. and that's and that's a it's a proud it's a proud pain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm a good I'm good with a proud pain. Yeah. I, I'm, I can't show you my pain. Yeah. I just tried to move to get distance, but I can't show you this mistake that I've made. <laughs> so um, great, it's like not. a just <laughs> one of those. Yeah, like, yeah. It's, like, yeah. it's heroic for yeah. you. It's, it's very. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you've seen Glory. It's very Denzel Washington. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a singular <laughs> tear. Just just a. Yeah, just the stone face with a tear coming down. <laughs> the, <laughs> Looking very ah, okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, All right. This is this is a real uh, thing. <laughs> um, uh, and then you turn around, um, and you can now take the rest of your turn. All right. <laughs> Woo. <A> little hurt. <laughs> uh, man. Uh, I feel like I need to do something defensive now. Um. I know I have some that can cast. I can cast like uh, I can make myself wow, a stone armor, right? Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Ooh, so you could use this if you wanted. So essentially, a reaction. 
is essentially like a free move per turn. But this, since you just took a decent amount of damage, you can use this, and it's going to reduce the amount of damage you just took. Then I will be doing that. Stones okay, yeah. Endurance. Okay, great. So Stones Endurance, I believe you roll a d10? I think it's a d12. D12. So that's the blue die. Yeah. And <clears throat> you're going to reduce the amount of damage you just took because you, uh, you know, your your lineage, your species, you're gonna be able to kind of just like use your endurance and heal that back. Mm. Mm. Like, you know, when you're about to get punched, like just this is my internal, the air. it's my internal <laughs> fortitude. I think that's what they're yeah, calling exactly. it. Exactly. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay, six. Nice. Six. Okay. Um, and so then you only took five damage. Uh, nice. You get to add your constitution. Uh, oh shit! So six plus two, I believe. Yep. yep. Um, so <clears throat> instead of taking eleven points of damage, um, you only take three points of damage Ooh. as you kind of like just flex a little bit That's in your. That's badass. Your back. It up. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't see the. You didn't see the. <sighs> you just crack yeah, the neck. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like stand back up. <laughs> I don't, Lana, you because you're the only one. You you like look different type of wizard. Like, yeah, like ah, yeah. wounds on yeah. his back <laughs> just begin to go. Wolverine. Wolverine style. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Wolverine. Yeah. Yeah. Little Wolvie. Um, Son woo! of a bitch. And, uh, <laughs> this reaction, you can still take an action, cast a spell, do a bonus yes. action if you want. No, yeah, I'm upset now. So um, you could attack with, with a weapon, the but since right. you're a magic user. And also create a distance. I might yeah, look at something. Yeah, I mean, we might need some help. Just see one. Just see one on the wall. We'll see what we L spay on the. Um, and then you hear that sound again. Tick, 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 tick. tick. Tick, so tick. you okay? Yeah, I feel, I feel, and you, yeah. I feel like you're flipping yeah. through. I feel like, do it. I feel like I'm pissed. And yeah, I, I do you're this. flipping through your spell book and Fuck you land you, on. Uh, you land on what? Uh, I'm going magic missile. Magic Ooh. missile. Magic missile. You stop ah, on it. Sorry. You see magic missile and you see something in the writing that you can translate. You just don't know what the language is. That says um, almost like a note in the in the margin that says never misses. Mm, I like um, that. And. As you begin to kind of form the magic, it almost like muscle memory as well. Begin to kind of focus. Doctor Strange and, style. Yeah, right. Right with it. I was already with it. <laughs> right? I was already with it. Um, <laughs> I was already with it. <laughs> and as you separate Naruto, your hands, I'm ready. three bolts kind of form around you. Nice. What, what what color is the magic? Um, for the missile, we're gonna go with a, a heavenly blue. A heavenly blue. Oh. blue. Um, roll the yellow D4 three times. Fuck him up. Ooh, four. Nice. Four. Ooh. <laughs> Two. Oh, Two. almost Vegas time. All right. That's, yeah. nice, though. that's um, pretty good. So uh, you get to add plus one to each of those. So that's a total of 13 points of damage. We see the first one go, and it strikes the creature right in the ear, and we see its ear get ripped off. The owlbear kind of reels back in pain. The other one hits right in its stomach, right across nice. its belly. And the third one hits it right in the eye, blinding one of its eyes. Fuck you, owlbear. Fuck yes. Ah! Fuck my back. Yeah. Um, uh, and then we hear tick, tick, and the the ticker stops. And then all of a sudden, Phil, you feel agency. You feel like you can move around. Let's you can go. feel like you can hey, move hey, hey. Very nervous, but I'm ready. Really furiously pay, play your pan flute at What's it. What's the most terrifying though is you were right next to the owlbear. The owlbear can't attack you right now because it's your turn, but it's still nice. you going, <sighs> oh, jeez, I'm crow. Okay, <laughs> don't like that. Um, I'm gonna, so I feel like I'm gonna use, I, um, I'm gonna go with probably, I'm not, I don't think I'm very good at weapon stuff. Yeah. Um, so I think that um, I'm gonna go with, uh, I have a quick question. Can hey, I, do, do, and you, you pull out I your character go, I, sheet I, I, and you look at Nate. And I see, I see like the character sheet like come over my the shoulder. Owlbear's head. As I'm, I'm, I'm like you. sitting there with a knife like this. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, wait. What? Uh, yeah. what can I use my? Do these things it. apply to spells? <laughs> uh, the, uh, no. The okay. the skills one. What are you? What are you thinking? I don't know. Um, I'm gonna la I'm gonna go with a. I'm gonna go with a spell though. Maybe I can put it to sleep. Oh. Uh? Oh. Okay. Uh? Wait. All right. Um. All right. If you look at. I can't, can you put this sheet in front of me? I can't. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so. The magic sheet. God, it's so annoying, I can't move my hands. Is there, okay. Uh, so if you go, all right. So you should have, okay, got you. So grab, there's, there's a, on the other sheet, there's a card over there that says sleep. Got it. All right. I don't know how this works. I saw Tay do it. I just Read concentrate really hard on, on what it does, but I think 5d8. 5d8. Rule 5d8. That's green one, right? Nope. Yes. Yep. Okay. Yep. And so uh, um, as you as you uh, as you 
decide from your character sheet, this is the spell you're going to play. You immediately put the character sheet away, and you realize you've got to get your flute out. You get out your pan flute, and you begin That's to play. That's how you do your magic. A little lullaby. Oh. Um, <laughs> give us a little whistle of the lullaby. What song? What song do you play to put this owlbear to sleep? Also, remember, we can only do five seconds if it's a song that has license. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes. Oh, I see. Okay. Baby. No. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's happy birthday. Oh, uh, no. Baby, baby yeah, Albert, yeah, no, Albert, yeah. Albert, baby. <laughs> do you it's believe? the Macarena. The Macarena. Oh, yeah. okay. wow. Yeah, give, me, give me a little whistle of the Macarena. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. I'm, I'm blank. Uh, oh, yeah. Hey, Macarena. Ow. <laughs> wait, that, by the way, it's like the hardest song to whistle on. Yeah, I know. Really Actually, you know, wait, you, as you realize, like, maybe it might not be a pan flute, and you just go to acapella. Uh, uh, the, the, uh, I don't know the words. And as I'm sitting there, you're <laughs> behind me. Like, Phil, what the fuck are you I'm doing? I'm trying to remember the Macarena. Just why? Hey, I don't know. Hey, Macarena. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> and the magic is cast. Scoosh. <laughs> Please roll 5d8. Five. D8. five. <laughs> five of them? Yeah. All right. Three. Um, I got a five, a four, and a one. Okay. Ten. And then two more, right? All yeah. Right. Plus a two and a six. Well, 18. Okay. Um, so. Uh, because, uh, um, because the sleep spell is a radius, it can't target just an individual creature. Oh, fuck. So the goblins that are next to you both fall asleep. Boom. Uh, I forgot there were goblins there. <laughs> oh, yeah. What's left of them? <laughs> exactly. There's um, two and a half goblins yeah, left. Yeah. The, the owlbear, uh, uh, as one of them, uh, uh, goes to fall asleep, the owlbear goes and you see its claws just shred one of the goblins into two pieces. Oops. Um, there's still one goblin that has that is alive, but is now asleep at your feet. But the owlbear's not asleep. The owlbear's not asleep. Woof. Oops, so it didn't work on the owlbear so no. good. You didn't roll high enough. <sighs> Don't worry, you're doing great, Phil. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, okay, okay, this is not, we're not fucked. We can figure this out. Yeah. Uh, everything's fine. Yeah. Um, As you kind of look through your sheet, you see this other thing. Um, that is um, uh, bardic inspiration. And uh, as you kind of begin to read through it, you realize that you can inspire someone else in this group with uh, with uh, a positive message and that they will get uh, a better outcome if you do it. Okay. You just have to choose someone and you have to inspire them some way. You basically give them like a- um, Encourage pep talk. But it gives them, it gives you like a, a boost. Yeah. Oh, Ex more, extra. more stuff? Yeah. And does this uh, work, this is for somebody who's on their turn? So I can use it on Lana, so she, okay, yeah. she's going next? Yeah. Okay, yeah, uh, okay, okay. Inspire All right. me, Phil. Okay, okay, um, okay. <laughs> All right, listen. Mm -hmm. We need you, okay? And I think that, as uh, I think that this thing, it's our, it's the first, this is the first, the only, this is only the first thing we've encountered. And you are just gonna take this out, you're gonna take out the trash, and and then we're gonna move on, and we're gonna move into the next whatever our next challenge may be. Right. But you know, for you, this is just chapter one. Right. This is your preface. Yeah. So just, you know, take out your some of your cool ass weapons and uh, rip this thing open like you did the doors. Beautiful, beautifully tick, said. Tick, 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 yeah. And as 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 whatever kind of timer that exists, it stops. Uh, Lana, all of a sudden, you feel like so you feel confident. it's like. <laughs> uh, yeah. Guys, I can guys. We're like, we're fine. <laughs> we're fine. Um, Lonnie, you reach behind uh, your back where this weapon has been strapped to you and you pull it out and it looks, well, tell us what it looks like. Wait, do I have to roll uh, one no. D6? You, okay. No, uh, you, it just happens. That's oh, how good okay. you are at inspiring people. So good. Uh, yeah, I pull out. I'm like, what the fuck is this thing? Uh, it's a long, it looks like a long staff. Mm -hmm. It's pointy at the end, one end. And at the other end, built into the staff, is like a slingshot. Wait, it's like a like a spear with a slingshot. Yeah. So one ends a spear, one ends a slingshot. Nice. Well, I think I'm gonna stick it with the pointy end. <laughs> um, Lana, do you pull out your character sheet too as you kind of like look to see what you? Uh, it is called a hoopock. A hoopock. In case anyone wanted to, no. Okay. Well, use the hoopock. Hit him with your hoopa stank. Yeah. yeah. Uh, who your pack? Yeah. Uh, it sounds like it's like uh, what do you do? Is I'm a him with my hoopock. 
<laughs> Hit him with that hoop puck. Well, you're about to see. I think you got rid of the chainmail. Yeah. yeah, I thought hoop puck passed away in the '90s. <laughs> <laughs> he is alive. He lives in Cuba. Hoop puck. Hoop puck. Yeah. Hoop-puck. yeah. I definitely Never heard of this. Passed away a while ago. Or at Coachella. They're not. Yeah, that's true. Touche. Yeah. I think hoop puck is the Grinch version. Ah. Uh, yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 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 A little Sally Hoopa. Um, uh, this, this entire conversation is happening in the game. As, well, Albert, as, as, yeah. as, as, as long as, as long as you hear this tick, 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 as shit. As they're breathing in my yeah. fucking face. Um, okay, I'm going to stab it with my Hoopak. Okay. Mm-hmm. And not in the way they like. Okay. Um, <laughs> um, before you do, as you kind of pull it out and you see this blood, you feel this rage of battle. Mm. You feel... Like there's a bit of a flame burning inside of you that wants to be fed, almost like there's with what bloodlust, a bloodlust. Blood almost Ooh. like you feel like you want to unleash some sort of. Do you anger want me to rage world. right now? No, no. But you always feel that when you're when you're fighting. As I just barbarian. feel it all the time. Yeah, she, this is her. It's but it's the first time you felt this. Uh, okay. And you realize that there's something there. Guys, I'm about to fuck this shit up. Hey. Um. Okay. Yeah. I attack it. Okay. Uh, that is a 14. A 14. What's its armor? A 14 will hit. Thank you. Um, okay. And then I will also be using my face step bonus action. Okay. So after I stab it, Mm -hmm. which I guess I'll roll for damage first for that. Um, six damage. Okay. Uh, my face step, I'm going to teleport right behind it. Okay. Um, and then it- Actually, uh, why don't you roll a d20 again? Just see if you got a, if you could have crit because you all do get advantage since there's- Oh, oh that's yeah. true. <gasps> and she fucking- oh, crit! Oh, That was amazing. Um, Look. You gotta roll like you don't give a shit more often. <laughs> that was just, so. she was just like, yeah, I guess so, fine. So, 20? uh, because, yeah. uh, Lana nice. rolled a 20, which means she'll do not only max damage, she gets to do another dice of damage. So, uh, how much damage does your weapon normally do? So, max on it is nine. Okay, so you did nine, and then what did you roll? And then there was an additional six. Six, okay, so yeah, 15 15. points of damage. Damn. 15, plus, anytime I use my face step, uh, I then also get to, with any creature within five feet of me, takes two fire damage. Ooh, so So, 17 damage. Yes, so after I teleport behind it, I'm also, I wanna go like this, I wanna go. And then hit it with a little bit more yeah. flame. And uh, as you do, we hit, see this little fire that kind of just jettisons onto the fur of the owlbear. And as that as it lands, those feathers begin <laughs> fire begins to cover, and you're <laughs> as it wails in pain, falling to the ground, dead. Oh, Hell yeah! Oh, Everyone oh, feels oh. able to move again. Whoa. Nice. <laughs> That's what I'm talking nice. about. <laughs> Weight off and my shoulders. Yeah. That is when tonight. <laughs> oh, oh shit! Yeah.